I let her. As you can see, that's the commander. That's the commander. My God. This is what the DHS has done. See what DHS has done. See what DHS has done. See what DHS has done. Today, MFLA has had his day in court. He was arraigned today, this morning, and he has been granted bail graciously by his lordship. They arraigned him on a two-count charge, very ridiculous charge, bordering on, uh, on illegal possession of firearm. Gentlemen of the press, if you know the firearm that we are talking about, it is the kind of gun that the likes of Christopher Columbus and uh, Mongo Park used during their days. This is the kind of gun that the SSS exhibited in their proof of evidence. This is how low that organization has turned itself to be. Ladies and gentlemen, but the good news is that Godwin Emefeli has been granted bail by the court on very liberal terms. Very liberal terms, and as we speak today, we, he is about to perfect the bail conditions. But we are hearing from the grapevine, and this is the reason why we have come to address you, members of the press, because we know what you stand for. The DSA, in fact, let me also add that the court gave an order again to say that a MFLA should go to the, should be remanded, pending when he perfects his bail, should be remanded in the prison, correctional center. But the, this, one would have expected that having had that order of court, the DSS would vacate, vacate this place with immediate defect. But you, as, you, as you can see behind me, they are dead, they are hooded. I do not know why they will be hooded to intimidate Nigerians. We, re we refuse to be intimidated. Gentlemen of the press, this is why you are here. Ours is to talk. Our voices can no longer be the low cry in the wilderness. There comes a time in life when silence is no longer golden. 